Hello guys and welcome to the review of Samsung Galaxy Ace Tours. In this video, we would talk about the user interface, that's Android 2.3.6, and uh, a couple of apps that are already installed, and apps like Flipboard and some games like Angry Birds and how they run on this device. So the Galaxy Ace Tours runs Android 2.3.6, and that's Gingerbread. And I'm not sure if there's going to be any possible upgrades to ICS or Jelly Bean, um, just because the hardware on this device is uh, not something that would support 4.1 or 4.0. Now, let's switch the Android on here. As you saw, that it did take a while, like a second, to unlock. So I'm guessing that would be, um, you know, fixed in the next update or something, but uh, something that I did not like. Anyway, uh, obviously the Android is layered on top with uh, Samsung's own skin, and that would be TouchWiz. But the real question is, how does it perform? Is it smooth? Or does it stutter? Um, does it hang at times? So, just so you know, that this has a 832 MHz processor, which is the same as in Galaxy Y Duos and Galaxy Y Pro Duos. But this has a lot more RAM than those devices. Galaxy Y just has about uh, 290 MB RAM and Pro Duos has 384 MB RAM. This is considerably more, and I think this is uh, at 768 MB of RAM. Now, that just makes it faster than the other two dual SIM devices, and as expected, Android does perform better on this device. So, a little closer. Now, screen animations, screen transitions, quite nice, responsive. As you can see, that was quite smooth, the uh, fade-in effect and the fade-out effect. Very nice. Good response. So that's pretty nice. Now, the important question is, what can I do with this device? Well, this is a smartphone and it's, uh, you know, it's not... Uh, something which is very low end as the Galaxy Y or the Galaxy Y Pro Duos. Um, neither is it as good as um, the Samsung Galaxy S devices like S Advance or S2 or the S3. But it does lie somewhere in between. And, uh, and you know, the expected performance is somewhere in between. So the basic needs being uh, the ability to make calls and send messages is uh, obviously there. And let's look at that. So this is the native dialer of this device. It has keypad, uh, logs, favorites, and contacts. And you click on contacts, it actually goes into another mode where you can have contacts, you can see the groups that you've made, history and activities. So you could just go back to the dialer and uh, this is where you make phone calls. You could also send a text directly from here. So you could just dial in a number 98188 or whatever and then send text. And you could just send a text right here. Now the keyboard, is quite nice and uh, you know unless you want to install a third party keyboard it's very usable the keys are nicely spaced out and uh, i tried um, you know sending a text message and it was quite easy so let's let's type something like this is a test message well, except for the q so quite easy i prefer swipe i think it's just a lot faster but uh, even if you're not used to swipe, this is quite a nice keyboard, very responsive and uh, quite predictive. All right. Now, the next basic need is, uh, you know, from a smartphone these days, is to stay informed and updated about things that are around us. And uh, Flipboard is out for Android, and um, I kind of installed it on this device. So let's get started. There you go. Now you can tap into technology and uh, look at that. It's quite nice for a device like uh, Galaxy Ace Tours. I think it's doing a very good job at, uh, you know, rendering these pages. And you could go in and have a test of the readability. So 
quite nice. It's, it's very smooth. The scrolling is very nice, as you can see. The inertia is great. It loads uh, text very quickly. Image looks fine to me. There you go. And the readability is quite nice. So no complaints here. Flipboard's working great on this device. And even the uh, the animation for the page flip is uh, quite responsive. So you know, definitely a good device for uh, reading articles or blogs. Now let's talk about uh, you know how would you play uh, a game on this and how would it look. So I installed Angry Birds, and it's quite nice actually. Even the colors look really nice. Um, you know. No complaints whatsoever. Does take a little while to load. It's just a single core 832 megahertz processor. So, you know, it does take a while to load. But uh, once loaded, playing the game is uh, quite nice. Oh, sorry, I locked it there. <laughs> okay. So there you go, and uh, anyway, so my point being that it's uh, you know a responsive uh, play altogether. The experience is quite nice, and uh, you won't be disappointed. So that's about the gaming on this device. Let's go back. Apart from this, uh, you have a music player for entertainment purposes and you could just tap into music player and you have all of your songs. You could uh, look at albums that you've uploaded. You can search by artists. So, you know, this is not a problem. You can also uh, create playlists and uh, this is pretty standard as any uh, touch with music player. You obviously have uh, YouTube, so you could stream uh, online videos. And I will cover the music player and uh, YouTube in another video, hopefully. So stay tuned. Not sure. There you go. So that's YouTube right there. Apart from that, you you know you have the regular Google suite of apps like Messenger Plus, which is basically your Google Plus Messenger, is Google Plus app, uh, Google Talk. You've got navigation, YouTube, uh, the Play Store, Gmail, all of those things. And from Samsung, you have the Social Hub. You have uh, Chat On. And um, that's about it. You obviously have Quick Office for uh, you know if you want to see your PowerPoint files or Word files. So all of those things are uh, you know that come loaded with the phone. Flipboard and Angry Birds is something that I installed on uh, top of the apps that are already come from the Play Store. Apart from this, um, you know you have your usual clock. You could just set an alarm and uh, you know, it's pretty standard. You have a nice planner, uh, a calendar that you, uh, you know, you could just flip and you could just go into your day and add whatever you have scheduled for your day. So that's quite handy as well. And you can obviously sync this to your Google calendar. So everything comes here automatically. And uh, let's just quickly go into maps and see how maps is on this device. So it's quite nice. Uh, pinch to zoom is uh, again very nice, smooth, responsive. Panning across uh, different locations is not a problem. Works quite well. So as you can see, it's quite nice. So that's it about the Galaxy Ace 2 OS, the user interface and the apps that are on this device. I would say all in all it does a good job, it's worth the price and um, stay tuned for more videos. Do read the article on the complete uh, review 